subject refused to exit the truck and told officers to approach the vehicle instead. For over 10 minutes, officers on scene attempted to de-escalate the situation by negotiating with the driver. The suspect then drove into a fence in an apparent attempt to leave the area. Officers were unable to safely contain the suspect in the dead end and used a pursuit immobilization technique or PIT to stop the suspect from leaving. 
The pit was unsuccessful and the driver drove towards I-80 and entered the freeway with the vehicle headlights off. Hey brother, I don't know why it's happening. That's why I'm no, trying to... I know why it's happening. I fucking know why it's happening. All right, calm down, man. No, I don't have to calm down. I know why it's happening. He knows why it's happening. You know why it's happening. All right? You want to look at my ID? Well, you know what's going on. I'm still at it. You decide. I'll be right here. Hey brother, is your name Joseph? All right, Joe. Hey man, I don't know... The, hey, uh, listen, man, I don't know what happened. I just got here, okay? I heard you you took off from us. But here's the deal, man. We can't go up to the car. You need to come out to us, okay?
ATV up here.
eastbound right now, just passing exit 22.
Joseph, the faster you come out, the faster we can help you, brother. Medics aren't, medics aren't doing anything. All right, lay down. No, you can lay down on the ground. Lay down. I'm telling you right now. Lay on the fucking ground. Listen, we're going to shoot you with a 40 millimeter. Again? Yes. If you don't follow the command, lay down. Don't fucking reach for it. Don't fucking reach for it. There's nothing in there, bro. Chuck. Hold on, I gotta get gloves on real quick. Hands out! They are! You see them! Don't shoot me anymore! I've done everything you've asked! Someone wanna go up there with me? Okay, just relax, you're good. Who's gonna up with me? We're all going up. How am I gonna relax? Look at what you did! Alright, ready? How am I supposed to relax? Hands out, brother. They're out! Turn your head away! Who's the supervisor? Come on. Check the car. Check the car. Oh no, guys, that was all uploaded to my Wi-Fi. It just automatically uploaded. Nope, not a single weapon. Thank right. you. I want to make it sure, man. I mean, I told you that when my hands were up. You guys shot anyway. Okay, let's roll over and sit up, dude. Bro, can you help? Yeah. Can you guys yeah, at least over. help now? Yeah. Come on. Sit up. I mean, are you guys gonna help? Let's start cutting clothes off. They're gonna need to get all the clothes off their assassins. Where are you hit, man? All over the how the fuck am I supposed to know? Okay. You guys are the ones that put them there. Just start cutting shit off. They're gonna have to anyway. Can you help me stand up, please? Anybody else have shears? Drama shears? Anybody have drama shears? Watch yeah, I have some, but I was gonna get a second set going. Maybe I go down. You guys are still seriously just—it's mind-boggling how fucking. 
I am refusing medical treatment. I am refusing medical treatment. Thank you, fellas. The suspect was identified as 39-year-old Sparks resident Joseph Williams. The investigation later revealed a black semi-automatic handgun on the floorboard of the passenger compartment of the suspect vehicle. What's the address of your emergency? I am here at the Rock on on the Arco. Okay, the Arco and sorry, is it the one on Victorian, 1701 Victorian, between Rock and 18? Yeah. Okay, what's going on? Uh, there's a guy like vandalized with someone's vehicle, and then he was just in here still and he just uh, there was like an off security in here that made a call just a second ago, but I don't know. I'm sorry, you sound very far away from the phone. I can hardly hear you. There was an off security guard in here when uh, he was stealing, and uh, so he was stealing inside the store first. Yeah, he took off. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what he stole? Uh, alcohol. Okay. That someone's car. And is that in the parking lot or where is that? Yeah, it's in the parking lot right now. He's okay. still here. And how are they vandalizing it? I'm not really too sure, but he's like walking around the vehicle. He's walking around the vehicle. So he, it, okay, is, is he walking around it or vandalizing it? Like has he broken no, anything, no, touched no, anything? He's taken, he's taken off now. Where, what direction? Uh, he's still in the parking lot. Okay. Uh, he's just gone out again. What does he look like? Uh, black sweatshirt. He's wearing shorts. What color shorts? Uh, tannish. Red. Red. Sorry, tan or red? Red. And he has a pickup truck, and it's, uh... So is he in, getting in his vehicle, or is he still on foot? He keeps getting out and in his vehicle. Okay. And what color is the truck? It is, like, a gray, black, and then a white tailgate pickup. Okay. And can you see the license plate on it? No, I can't. Okay. And can you see if he's white, black, Hispanic, Asian? I white. Okay. About how old would you say? Late twenty. Okay. About how tall? Five, six foot. Okay. <laughs> and would you say thin, medium, or heavy, heavy build? Medium build. Okay. Is he still in the parking lot or is he in his vehicle? Yeah, he's still in the parking lot. He's in the back, so I parked back in his pickup. The clerk stated a male stole alcohol and left the store. The male was described as a white male adult wearing a black sweatshirt with red shorts who was last seen leaving in a gray or black truck. Officers were nearby when the call was received and arrived on scene less than one minute after being dispatched. Responding officers located a dark colored truck being driven by a male which matched the description provided by the reporting party. Officers attempted to stop the vehicle. However, the suspect continued to drive erratically by periodically stopping and then driving off again. While officers were attempting to stop the vehicle, they heard what they believed was a possible gunshot coming from the truck. Officers also learned the suspected driver had previously been arrested for battery with a deadly weapon and eluding officers. The suspect continued driving without stopping and ran several red lights. The suspect eventually turned north off of Glendale Avenue and stopped at a dead end on Dermody Way. Due to the suspect's erratic actions and criminal history, officers did not approach the suspect.